With the reconquest of Sabina, Admiral Spire set his sights on the rest of the sector. He would control it before Chaos could re-establish a foothold in the area. I think it is an angry world, isn't it? No, it's a cardinal world. Not that useful, actually. Still need to... I don't know. Hold on to it for a little bit longer. And now you guys can be my gatekeeper forces. Just sit there for a little while. Rest, recuperate, and prepare to destroy the enemy. And I believe there was a... Which one of you is a Forge World? Is it you? Cantrail, I think? Yeah. One more turn. Then I can upgrade you. Now you two. Not the strongest fleet, I'm not gonna lie. Especially compared to those two cruisers and the other one, it's just too amazing. I might upgrade this glass cloud right now because I really want the listening post. Another faction battle plan every four turns massively increases the speed at which we can do this urgency thing. I think I'll do that. I can always afford to do the uh, Forge World anyway. And urgency seems to matter, I guess. So I'm wondering whether the game's going to hand me more fleets. If I would have had a cap on my fleets, because obviously I, I only have one, but I had a cap of two. If I had two Imperial fleets, would that have just not given me this other fleet? Or would it put it me over my cap or what? Either way, I would not be in a happy financial position. You know, I should have built the uh, space station. That would have been pretty funny, actually. Oh, I can't do it yet. Oh, don't I need to upgrade one of the uh, other places? Oh well, send the turn for now. Chaos are finally on their way. They're attacking Cadia again. They have a love for this place. At least I guess I wouldn't call it a love actually, to be honest. More like a burning hatred. I want to fight some orcs. I want to play as the orcs actually. It makes me sad that. Oh, those sexy face for each chips. Both of them in the same battle. There's going to be some boarding going on tonight. Ah, yeah, now I can look at these guys' paint jobs actually better. Yeah, look at those paint jobs. That is one sexy color. That electric blue with the gold as well. Oof. Don't think I'm going to get to the point where I can have one fleet for each color because you can have it like gothic sector and that like obviously battle fleet gothic is a gothic sector and yeah the clump of outpost there engines engaged i really should set my fleet that's not i've said at every single mission but i do need to set it up to auto engage in close stance so that i can board Oh, look at this. This beautiful Imperial Doctrine. Space Marines advancing to the fore. And they're pretty ships over here. Maneuvering on their own. It's like a dance. Except, you know, with more violence. Now, are they sending those Moving to position. ships to us? Or are they sending those ships to... They could be going to us, couldn't they? At least some of them are going to get shot down by the defences. Yeah, they're going to us, aren't they? Bet to my flagship. Which one, though? Yep, to this one. Is it? Your orders? We wait your command. Yes, yeah, to the space room one. Shoot them down. Let's go. Okay, will they even get there? Nope. <laughs> it's good to have that happen to the enemy for a change. Take our time. We've got... Look at the range those Chaos Forces can engage from. Damn. We stand ready. Heading 
Right, it's no time for fancy attack vectors now. Space Marine to right, Imperial Forces left, and let's start engaging the enemy building, uh, the enemy ships. Getting too used to it. What do our fortresses look like actually? Our own placements look pretty cool. I don't stop for that. Board and destroy the enemy ship. Ha! <laughs> Drive by! Oh, that's beautiful. Don't mess with the space marines. Just just don't mess with the space marines. Your orders? I like the speed of the space marine fleet there. It's impressive. Get these ones as well. Uh, I really need to only launch my ships when they're about there. Yes, yeah, a lot more guaranteed. Oh, and you're at the map, dude. Get back in. You're going to start taking damage, I think. Kill his weapons. We if we kill enough of the long range ones, we'll be forced to engage us at far. The glorious gratification, that's a hell of a name for a ship. Enemy in sight. The range on that, Jesus. A double barrel heavy lance. He's lost two of his weapons already there. Ship ready. I am listening. Where you get their thunderhooks? Yes. To where we are needed. Give us purpose. Lord Thunderhawks. Where shall we strike? Engaging. That is impossible. Just that range. We serve. Ram them! Ah, next. Hopefully, we'll force them to turn around then. We stand ready. Look at how much more efficient the Space Marines are. You've got three ships to there, too. And yet they still wipe their opponent out first. I mean, granted, I was paying a little bit more attention. Only a little bit though. Your orders? Course engaged. Oh, that was. I thought that was on a different plane. Underway. We wait your command. All ahead, full. Ship ready. Underway. Alright, let's get close enough that we can board. Maybe stop. Oh, what weapons have they got? One double barrel heavy lance left. And I've just got recovered. Oh, actually, let's get my ships up the way for that. What are you doing? No! There we go. A little bit of micro. <laughs> the counter my horrible second bit of micro. There we go. Yes! The Space Marines fighting their little ship. Still some enemy ships available. Setting course. No, you don't. We lost the and there goes their last weapon. Right? Yep. Show us the enemy. No, you don't. Enemy it's not even fair. 
They am. Um, uh, just a tiny shit. Imagine seeing that. Just everyone goes dark all at once. You're the only one left. Do you even have any guns? Not anymore. <laughs> Well, it's nice orbiting a banana for once. More renown. People to learn of our exploits, brothers. Just like that, the path. That's that 500 fleet. So the gulag with you. Okay, there's no reason to wait any longer. I might as well spread there. So that's two attacks in the next turn. Oh. Whoa, they got decimated. What was that? A 500 and a 200 versus 500. And they've got, what, 100 and, like, 200 left? Holy shit. The auto-resolve did not go in their favor. And I have no reason not to attack them right now. I should mess. I should finish the, the sector. Of Nemesis Tessera was once the Inquisition's most closely guarded secret. A bastion of knowledge and rigor and a convocation point for the Imperium's most trusted servants. No more. The onset of the 13th Black Crusade set the world awash with treachery and war. Though Nemesis Tessera's dread secrets were stolen, the world itself endured thanks to the heroism of the Space Wolves and Inquisitor Ciro. From the doomed hive world of Kima Lomas, to the seditious penal world of Avaris Gulag, the sector remains <laughs> crippled by corruption and heresy. Yet in the forsaken fields of the Obsidian Depths, mutation, madness, and all their damned siblings are curiously absent. It is as if the Obsidian Depths border onto something not yet adequately defined, or perhaps waiting to be discovered. So, it's a good holiday destination? Am I there yet? I'll be there next turn, I guess. Oh, so it takes a turn to transition. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm there right away. And I can fight the Eldar. Hmm. They are not going to have fun with this fight, especially because they don't even have any defenses yet. Still, better taking the world from the Eldar than the Chaos. Far fewer tentacles, in my opinion. My fleet's relatively outnumbered Xerxes. Yeah, Xerxes is what I want, though. I want that hive world. And I can finally upgrade Cantrell. Give me some nice little boost to my money. Alright, let's go to Xerxes. We do have outposts, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Especially because I have my space marines as well. They're just so good at crippling ships. As soon as I renown rank up, I should be able to get another one, actually. Uh, one of the bigger ships, I think. I think I was only a tiny bit off getting a strike cruiser. That is going to be awesome. Let's go. Secure this sector. For the Emperor. What are you? You look like an Emperor. Oh, yeah. Emperor's chosen. <laughs> yep. Mmm, Slanesh, our first encounter. Must admit, really do want to see what these Slaneshi ships look like. That is going to be eye-opening, I guess. <laughs> Crab claws and tentacles galore. Right, so good old one-two. Oops, that is not the right split. Space Marines on one side, Imperial on the other, and is this? Nope, it's not a cat point, so outpost on left side, let's deploy on right side. 
Outpost on right side, let's deploy on left side. That is the new one. Let's do our awesome, awesome formation from last time. A bit closer this time though. Right, everyone stop. Over at five. What are they doing? And will they attack me? They don't look like they're heading towards their outpost. Right. Anywho, let's start running in silent mode. Going silent. Old course. We have no reason to engage them in favorable terms for themselves. Wow, well, look at these. Is that Tyranidy or Slaneshi sort of stuff? It kind of looks Tyranidy. I really want to see those Slaneshi ships. Alright, let's speed up for the Emperor and all that. I haven't really used the command skill too much. Cancels mutiny. All those lightning strikes, it's almost blue. Oh my god, look at them, they're glorious. Mmm, so Slaneshi. And one ship down, I guess. That is just depressing. For them. Look at that thing. It's so Saneshi. Oh my god, look at those gun parts. So beautiful. Right. Where are you going? Anywho, let's switch to reloads. Did I order you to? I don't think I did. When the asteroid fields do damage then, so 4 damage a second. But you're not suffering any damage. Um, I only didn't look- oh no, there, there is still a ship in the nebula. Enemy in sight. Where shall we strike? Right, from the top. Guys just can't get a break. And they're a drifting hook. <laughs> uh, the boarding actions are so much stronger in this game than the first one. I remember how sort of weak orcs were because the book. Leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it. I did not see that. Get out of there. I forgot they can do that. That was what the other explosion was then. Oh my god, it's so, so damn pink. That's me a rocket leaker. Alrighty ho then. On to the points, I guess. Well, that was a good combat. We shall strike at the hearts of the Imperials' enemies. Ah, you thought I was going to say Imperium there, didn't you, heretic? <laughs> Come on, my space bananas. Look at how ungainly that thing is. Imagine it flying around in orbit. Can't imagine it would get very far. But as aerodynamic as a brick with another Move brick strapped to it. Your orders? Right. Changing course. Show us the enemy. Repositioning. I like the way that you can avoid shots that have been fired. Because, wait. 
Oh, they've got a border, haven't they? Let's speed this up. We stand ready. I am listening. Remember, guys, orbited 4.5. Let's get close and wipe half of these guys out for the abilities. Right, so it's H. We stand ready. Full speed. Enemy defense platform destroyed. Keep positioning. Can I reverse? I don't think I can reverse. Well, let's get out of there, Space Brew Chip. Seeing as I don't want you getting damage, you have the battle plans. That does so much damage to my own ship. I really shouldn't do that. I just love ramming things though. Oh yes, look at those beautiful shots. Silhouetted by fire from the Imperial Navy. And good night, heretics. Well, top of the ship has seen better days, but um, I guess it's more aerodynamic now, missing all the trunk off the top of it. One battle plan earned, ha ha ha. And I have got a victory. Yes, my renown has ranked up again. I can get battle cruisers. I can't afford battle cruisers, but I can get them. <laughs> More leadership in the battle as well. Command capacity up. I can get another Mechanicus fleet. Not that I'm near doing that right now. And that leaves me the Cadian sector totally under Imperial control, where it belongs. The real question is, do I leave people here in the assumption that this place is going to get attacked? Because I can't imagine... It could be... If you look at the map... So, Cadia looks like... Obviously, this looks like the main sector, so I assume people are going to be able to come from different angles, obviously, when they can do so. So, I'm assuming that Cantrell and Belisar are going to be entrance points. And they're two of my favourite planets, seeing as they're money generating planets. That's sexy, 80, 80 resources a turn, mm. Alright, is there anything I can bother upgrading here? Resources, but only five. I'd be better off upgrading. It wasn't Cersei, which one was it? Whichever one of you is the mining world, yeah. 12% extra than that. 144, I mean, it would start giving me more money. Yeah, I'll do it. 89. I mean, it's not great, but it's a start. After a couple more ticks, I should be able to have upgraded Cantor to full. Uh, oh, yeah, it was Cersei, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's 96. So next turn, I'm going to get enough to do that anyway, and then I can upgrade that. Probably should have done... No, because I'm making a little bit more than I would be normally. Next turn, I should be able to get that sorted. Oh, yes, I forgot about this. Now. Now's the time. We can see our first battle against a... Notably bloodied Eldar fleet. Void dragons. Is that a general? Has general health of the fleet, isn't it? 52% and 40%. Yeah, they had an absolute number done on them by the chaos. 